sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in a statement that he gave to a number or a group of his companions. This goes across to the board, not only for those with university degrees or tertiary education. No, no, no. What we are talking today is for all kinds of people, boys, girls, youth, adult, men, women. We must inculcate this mindset and reject the concept of being subordinates. Huh? Being indoctrinated by what we see out there because there are severe plots and plans to indoctrinate the Muslims. Not only the Muslims by God, it is to indoctrinate the masses so they would surrender and submit to anything that comes their way. Without choice, without preference, without thinking about the, what is happening in the world today, and the list goes on. Rasulullah says, Ballikh khayran wa kul khayran wa la takun imma'atan. The Prophet sallallahu said, say something good or deliver a message of goodness. Say th something good or deliver or perpetrate or propagate something that is good. وَلَا تَكُنْ إِمَّعَةً And do not allow yourself to be a subordinate. Huh? Do not allow yourself to be in a position of being indoctrinated. Huh? The Prophet doesn't want that to you. قِيلَ يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ The Arabs are asking, the companions, وَمَا الْإِمَّعَةً What is a sub subordinate? What is someone that is indoctrinated to? قَالْ لا تقل أنا مع الناس وأنا كواحد من الناس. Don't say I'm just one of the masses. I am with the flow. Huh? I am with the flow. شو يعني with the flow? What is that supposed to mean? يعني sorry to say this from the member. Someone goes on a stage to sing, right, or to dance. Why is 100,000 people subconsciously dancing, jumping, huh? singing lyrics that makes no sense and it's only to advance the most vile, foul language and concept and we repeat it like parrots, you know? And the funny thing is when someone listens to music, our boys and girls, well, not all music is haram, by the way. There's different fatwa about music. And it's often connected to the lyrics, not to the actual beat itself, to the lyrics itself as well. Sometimes you find our children, especially when they're studying, they put this headphone, you know, which seals all the noise as well, you know, cuts all the noise. You know. They pay three, four hundred dollars to cut the noise, right? For these headphones and then they say it's what what is the take on music what is it come on tell me why they're listening to music and to relax to relax them right to make them concentrate to make them calm down then all of a sudden mom comes and switches the headphone off they snap habibi you said it's to relax you why are you snapping? You should be in a state of relaxation. You are sick, so that is a hoax. You're being indoctrinated to believe that music actually relaxes you. Or the lyrics actually relax you. They don't. They take you into a swoon of subconsciousness where you don't even know what you are doing. Where you, ev where you don't even know what you are doing. A few years ago, 2010, maybe 2000, no, before 2003, 2004, I read an article about a woman in Los Angeles, in America. She was actually listening to music. She was so absorbed in her music that the phone rang. While she was listening to the music and the phone rang, instead of answering the phone, she was ironing. So she took the iron, psh, hello, hey, hello. She was third degree burn. 
They took her to the hospital for third degree. She, she was subconscious. She didn't know what she was doing. My subject matter is not music, by the way. It's about being indoctrinated. How we just go with the flow. How we just go with the flow. So he said, don't be a subordinate. Don't be indoctrinated. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, where you say, I am with the people, I am with the flow. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, do not be just one of the people that goes with the flow. Qal, ya ayyuhan nas. Then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam continued and he said, ya ayyuhan nas, O people. You know, so there's something very fascinating about the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When it is a matter that concerns all the human being, all the human race, he doesn't say, ya ayyuhal muslimun. He doesn't say, ya ayyuhal mu'minun. No, he generalizes his statement. So the benefit would overcome and include who? Everyone. Because this subject matter concerns only the Muslims, only the Mu'mineen. It concerns the entire human race. He said, Ya ayyuhan nas, innama humana jidan. There is only two ways you can take in this world. Najdu khayrin wa najdu sharr. Either a path of goodness or a path of Evil. فَلَا يَكُنْ نَجْدُ الشَّرِّ أَحَبُّ إِلَيْكُمْ مِنْ نَجْدِ الْخَيْرِ So do not take a path or do not allow yourself to prefer the path of evil over the path of good. Subhanallah. So we need to consider all these issues. That can only happen if we use what? Our intelligence. We cannot be subordinate and allow others to think for us. Why? Because others who are in a particular position of power and authority, they don't want you to think for yourself. They want to dictate their terms on you and me so that I become only a blind imitator and follower. All the way from the highest level of laws to the lowest dictates of fashion. To the lowest dictates of fashion. And we do it, you know what? We do it without asking a question. We go shopping, we see a pair of jeans. When I put it in, on, sorry, I don't know the shape of my body anymore. You know? It doesn't make sense. Huh? Whether from both sides, you know, from one side, you need six women to buckle the first button, right? Because she probably size 16, she's wearing size 10, you know? And then they tell you, it's all right. Why? Because these are the dictates of the fashion. There's no longer dictates of the intelligence. There is dictates of what? Huh? Of sexuality. That's the main concern. Let's call a spade a spade. Everything you see around you today, have you ever seen a billboard? Honoring someone that gave vaccines for the flu? No. You don't even know. Do you know his name? No one knows. Huh? But let me mention someone like Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. Kim Kardashian. Everyone knows her. Everyone. Huh? I was in New York once and I was, you know, in those yellow caps. You know, the cabbies, the, the taxis. And I was with my wife. So we were driving. All of a sudden, there is a lineup, wallah, bigger than this lineup here, where the sisters are. From here, beyond Medevale Road, all the way down. So I said to my wife, what is going on? This, it's not normal. So they're all lining up in front of a shop, and the line is as far as you can see. I said, I need to find out what's going on. She said, I said, I need to find out. I rolled the window down, you know. And all these ladies were standing there. Most of them were sisters. Yeah, ladies, yeah. yeah. So I said, hey guys, what's going on? Everyone with one voice, the Kardashians are coming. Ajeeb. La hawla wa la quwata illa billah. Sallu ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. You're lining up all these because they're coming. Now tell me something. What are you benefiting from it? It's the sober, subordinate what? Mindset. The indoctrination of the masses 
towards things that are useful or not useful? Not useful. Absolutely not useful. You get nothing out of it, you know? Nothing whatsoever out of this. This kind of stances, this kind of position in this world, they want us to dictate, they want to dictate to us that we should not even take a stance against the current, you know, issues that are taking place in the world today. No, no, no. It's already been concocted. It's already been framed. It's already been done. You only have to give it your seal of approval. Don't ask about it, you know. Be a part and parcel, an active part and parcel of the domain of struggle in this life. Don't sit on the peripheral, you know. Don't say what the Prophet ﷺ said in the hadith when I read, I am one of the people, I go with the flow. That is not accepted. <laughs>